Thank you, Kahiluk. Um, I'm going to jump around a couple of topics here, uh, if that's all right. I just firstly want to draw attention to the members um, of, of the House um, of the Labour Party pledge, which we sent around yesterday to all TDs and Senators, requesting uh, that people pledge their support to getting the COVID vaccine, if and when it's ready, and to encourage, obviously, constituencies and, and people that you know to, to get the COVID vaccine. So I just want to, to draw attention to that for those who've not yet signed up or, or tweeted support. Uh, the hashtag is hashtag vaccines work. Um, I suppose it would be it wouldn't be a normal week if I didn't stand up and talk about my favourite topic of student nurses and pay for student nurses and midwives. And I just wanted to um, <clears throat> briefly flag something that was raised um, as a reason why we can't pay student nurses, and I, and I don't really accept it, um, is that if we were to pay student nurses, it would come at a cost of eliminating the D degree programme certification and, and, and somehow devalue the education part of, of their training. And, and I, I simply don't agree with that. Uh, there is nothing intrinsic to student placements that prevent payment, and to use that as an argument to not pay student nurses, I don't think is really acceptable. You know, paying student trainees should be a goal in all fields, actually, um, because otherwise the, the, the cost um, the unpaid placements become a barrier to entry to these courses and it re reproduces and reinforces inequality in society. And I say this all the time, who is not in the room? Who is not in, in that degree programme? Who is not able to take on a learning opportunity because there are financial barriers in place? And those financial barriers are not just fees. It is a financial barrier to not be able to afford to take unpaid placement. Um, and we need to be, if we're really talking about building an Ireland of equals and an Ireland of, of opportunities for everyone, we have to think about uh, beyond just getting people into the door. Um, and I really just think um, you know, unpaid placements for whatever course are a financial barrier and they are locking people out of taking on these learning opportunities. And more than ever, we need nurses and midwives and doctors and people who are willing to take on these vocational uh, qualifications. So I, I just really wanted to put that. So it really is a matter, I think, of, of justice and equality. It ensures true access to opportunities that placements bring, um, but also ensuring that work is properly recompensated. Um, and I think that's really important. We really can't be going around having unpaid labour. And if the government are, are, are putting out the line that they support that, then I think that's very problematic. I'll just very quickly want to go on to um, there was an issue raised about the part of the pay restoration, the public service and former TDs getting a pay rise and pensions and contributions. And I know it's been raised in this house before, but we have essays who are working in the Oireachtas on less than the living wage. Um, student nurses who are not being paid. You know, the major unions have walked away from the low pay commission on the back of a proposed 10 cent increase to the living wage. And I just think it's very concerning what the government is saying in terms of, of valuing work. And, and I think perhaps it's showing a little bit of uh, remove from reality of the financial hardship experienced by many workers. And I think, uh, you know, what is happening in the health system and they're keeping our country going, it's also happening in our own offices. We are not paying our essays properly, we're not paying them enough, and we need to set the standard for employment here in Leinster House and outside Leinster House. Thank you, Chair.